Britain's place in the world, our own destiny changed by Brexit, while the world order is shifting to hostile Russia, the unstoppable rise of authoritarian China, the PM taking a hard-headed look at the threats and opportunities we face and signalling a return to hard power. An extra £24 billion in defence, allowing the wholesale modernisation of our armed forces and taking forward the renewal of our nuclear deterrent. Boris Johnson with controversial plans to reverse the reduction in nuclear warheads, reminding the US the UK remains militarily on side. In all our endeavours, the United States will be our greatest ally and a uniquely close partner in defence, intelligence and security. Our relationship with the world's second superpower more complex at odds over the repressed Uyghur people, Hong Kong and China's military might in the Pacific, but in need of Beijing's economic might too. There is no question that China will pose a great challenge for an open society such as ours. But we will also work with China where that is consistent with our values and interests. The PM nuanced on China, but many of his MPs are not. The grasping naivety of the Cameron Osborne years still lingers on in some departments of state. This government takes a very, very clear-eyed approach to what is happening in China. It is a balanced approach and one that I think the British people understand. Questions unanswered too over rumoured army cuts. The maths doesn't add up. Tell us now. What's going to be cut so that this can be afforded? And opposition alarm over nuclear proliferation. This review breaks the goal of successive prime ministers and cross-party efforts to reduce our nuclear stockpile. It doesn't explain when, why or for what strategic purpose. The integrated review was billed as the biggest examination of the UK's defence, security and foreign policy since the Cold War. And it feels a bit Cold War. At its heart is an acknowledgement that the international rules-based system can no longer be taken for granted. But some of the solutions it proposes around China or our nuclear arsenal raises more questions than it answers. But what we do know is the world is changing and global Britain has to respond. Beth Rigby, Sky News, Westminster.